Hi everyone, Mark here, and I wanted to post something, but I decided to do a quick video instead to describe something to you because I think it's going to be easier for you to understand. I'll show you pictures too. But in the book I'm working on, Swift UI Animations, I want to let you know that you can actually create your own speed curves or timing curves, they're called, in animations. And you might have seen these before. If you have my free book, you've seen them. They're described right at the beginning. And in this new chapter that I'm creating, you can customize that curve and it does really interesting things. But first, how do you even do this? How do you even create your own custom curve? The first thing you have to know about is what a Bezier curve is. Uh, and I describe it in my chapter. Here you can see a picture of Pierre Bezier. And he's the one who created uh, the idea behind these curves that you can define with uh, parameters. And you use these parameters and a curve will result. And how do you do that in Swift UI? Well, you have this timing curve that has a, a set start and end point, and all you have to do is give the coordinates for that first Bezier handle and the second Bezier handle. And it's that simple, and then it'll produce a curve. But then the next thing you might be asking yourself, well, what does that curve do? How do I read that? How does that affect the, the speed of the animation? Well, keep watching tomorrow, and I'm going to tell you how.